it is guys, my name is Swifters, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys yet another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 informational video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the exclusivity of the Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta that will be coming to the game in the next couple of months, prior to the release of Black Ops 3, this upcoming November 6th, 2015. So guys, before I jump right into today's video, let's try to smash out over 300 likes. That would be absolutely outstanding. And with all of that being said, let's get started. Alright guys, so hopefully you have been watching some of my recent videos regarding Black Ops 3, and if you have been, you probably know that Black Ops 3 has recently been confirmed as coming to every single console, including the old generation consoles, being the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. Now if you guys would like some additional information regarding that topic, and I guess if you guys would like to understand the politics as to why Black Ops 3 is coming to every single console, and how that affects the next generation game, go ahead and click the links down in the description below. So guys, for those of you who don't know, the scheduled multiplayer beta for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is only scheduled to come out on the next generation consoles, being the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, and including the PC. Now, Treyarch has recently publicly came out with an article expressing how they will only exclusively be focusing on the next generation consoles when it comes to the Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta, so I just wanted to take this time to inform you all that the Black Ops 3 beta is scheduled to only come out on the Xbox One, the PlayStation, and like I said earlier, the PC, and I meant the PS4, not just the regular PlayStation, so we will be receiving the Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta on the Xbox One, the PS4, and the PC, however, as of now, that is subject to change. It's still a possibility that we will be getting a Black Ops 3 beta on the previous generation consoles, including the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. However, if that were to be the case, it would definitely be downgraded, as for the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 game on the next generation consoles, everything is going to be much more advanced, more upgraded, in the campaign we can do a total of 4 player co-op in order to complete the campaign or the story mode, whereas on the previous generation consoles, the game only supports a 2 person co-op mode. Now guys, I will have an additional video coming out in the next couple of days discussing how Black Ops 3 on the previous generation consoles does affect the next generation console game, so let me know down in the comments section below if that's a video that you guys would be interested in. On top of that, for those of you who don't know, in the next couple of days it begins the E3 event where we will be getting a ton of information regarding Black Ops 3, so be sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe so you guys never miss a future Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video uploaded here on my channel. Channel, as I do plan on covering all of the information that is supplied to us at the upcoming E3 event in the next couple of days. I'll catch you guys in the next video, and until next time guys, this has been Swifters, I'm out, peace.